Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This one's gonna be a short one and it's just gonna be my thoughts on having lived in Vancouver for a few months now. I think it's coming up on a year sometime soon. I can't remember. I think in, in like a few months it's coming up on a year, but I just wanna give you my thoughts on Vancouver. So let's get into it. So what do I think about Vancouver? Uh, so let me kind of give you guys a little background of what was going on. So I've lived most of my life in Chilliwack. I can't remember when. Timelines are always really fuzzy for me. But at some point, uh, I moved out with a significant other in the past. And then eventually I ended up in Chilliwack again. I lived with my mom for a little bit longer then. And then I moved to Abbotsford. And then while I was in Abbotsford, uh, I was working in Chilliwack doing a whole bunch of different stuff. I've always wanted, and it's always been a dream of mine to move to Vancouver to be amongst the the skyscrapers and stuff, just because I really like the, I don't know, it's, it's really, really hard to describe. And I don't know, it's kind of, kind of makes you sound weird when I, when I describe it, but like, I'm gonna say it anyway. Like being amongst a lot of people has this weird energy to it. Like almost like, almost, almost I feel it like heat, it's weird. But so I've wanted to move to Vancouver, long story short, for a long time. And I was living in Abbotsford and a whole bunch of things happened. Obviously COVID happened and I was working and then all of a sudden I wasn't working and it was kind of like super traumatic. Uh, and around that time, we kind of started getting involved with a studio here in Vancouver, uh, Studio 710 and Team Grow. We, we met a whole bunch of different people and we actually came for like a little kind of like a tour of the studio. We got to meet a whole bunch of different people and we got to meet uh, Jarrett. And we were, we were at, at one point when I was living in Abbotsford, me and my two roommates that I have right now, Mark and Jack, we were coming to Vancouver almost every single day and we were like working at the studio for a long, long hours. And eventually after a long time, we just decided that, you know what? Like enough is enough. Like we gotta, like if we're really gonna do this and we all really want to do it, we just gotta, we just gotta do it. So then the search was, the search was on. We started looking for a whole bunch of different places. And if you guys knows, if you guys know what it's like to look for an apartment, it's it's a f***ing nightmare. I hate looking for apartments. I hate moving. I hate the whole aspect of moving. You gotta bring your stuff. It's it's disorganized and it's it's tiring and it's stressful. It's all that kind of stuff. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But it's something that I knew I had to do. We ended up finding this first place. And if you guys have been on this channel for a while, you, you guys know this place. It was the first place we moved into here in Vancouver and it was absolute garbage but it was it was our first place though so we're we're proud of it like having lived living there the first month it was super duper weird me and me and mark were sharing a room on a bunk bed and we took half the month i, I was on the bottom half the month he was on top jack had his own room so he was paying a little bit more and the place was disgusting and it had a red bathroom it was it was terrible it was terrible but it got us it got our foot kind of in the door in, in vancouver and it was like it was gross the place was gross it smelled weird but it was like we we're still here we we're still doing it we we're like like I w the dream of moving to vancouver was starting to happen and it was like, it was really, really cool. Long story short, we eventually, uh, when that place came to end, cause we didn't really want to stay there for a long time. The original plan was, plan was to stay there for only a month. Anyway, so we ended up looking for another place and we're continuously looking. And the biggest problem is that we have three people. We need three rooms. We all wanted at least some sort of privacy, but three bedroom in downtown Vancouver, it's like a minimum. Well, maybe not right now. Uh, right now it's February. Maybe we could find something with three bedrooms that is underneath $5,000. But at that point, the only three bedroom that we could find was $5,500 and it was located, I think it was in Yale Town. I can't remember. But anyway, it was ridiculous. $5,500, ridiculous sum of money. We definitely could not afford that. But luckily, you guys know, found this place. And I remember the initial thought moving into here and like coming to see it. We didn't really, we had a bunch, whole bunch of different places. There was this place on Granville we were actually looking at. We didn't get that place. And this one just was kind of our last resort. And so we, we took it, thankfully, of course. And then, and then it's, it's weird. You know, you know that feeling that you get when you're in it and you don't really know what it is until it's like close to the end? Or do you like, you know, okay, I know, I know all of you guys know the saying, uh, you don't really know what you have until you lose it, right? I mean, I haven't lost it, at least, at least yet. Actually starting to like make sense when you think about it. Like we're here, we're doing it. I'm living the dream. Not yet, right? I'm living part of the dream, but like I'm still living it. So it's 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 really really wild, and like I'm gonna wrap this all the way all the way around, and maybe this video isn't gonna be as quick as I promised it was gonna be, but Vancouver sick. Well, of course, Vancouver is uh, is absolutely amazing, and it was part of my dream to move here for the longest time and get that type of artistic independence and be be amongst other artistic people who are also chasing their dream and like a bunch of not even people who are chasing their artistic dream, but just all, all types of people who are chasing different types of things. Just seeing other people wanting more and chasing things is so inspiring, and like that's one of the things I love about living in Vancouver, amongst many. I mean, this view definitely helps. I didn't mean for it to to end up as a rant. I just I love Vancouver. 
And on that point, I'm really excited to show you the music I've been working on. And the music that I've been working on is going to reflect some of my emotions from before moving to Vancouver and while I'm in Vancouver. And would I and like have my emotions changed? Yeah, of course. Incredibly proud and incredibly stoked to show you guys, chap lips, what I've been working on. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys for, for watching these. New music coming soon. Take care, guys. I'll see you, I'll see you on Friday. Peace.